Hi everyone, this is Jason, and uh, I'm going to introduce you the uh, uh, little mini excavator from China. And this particular one is called XN12, and XN stands for the manufacturer's uh, initial, uh, Rhino, uh, Rhino And that's uh, that's a that's a company, the factory in China. Okay, and this machine, uh, this company has already been importing to the uh, states, and we can find them on. Uh, uh, Northern catalog and uh, they do have one called XN18 and that's a bigger size of this and there are some features that in that uh, uh, in, in that machine that is not here and also there are some features of this machine that is not there and I'll tell you more about it so we're just gonna go around and look at the uh, machines right here so if you come a little closer you can see this is the control console, and control console is very simple. It's just two joint, uh, two uh, two control levers, and this is control the uh, the uh, broom, um, the uh, the operation of the broom. And we have two little uh, levers here, and this is the left and right track, and controls movement. And we have two more, and one is for the one is for the push blade. It goes up and down, and one is for the accelerator. Uh, for auger or maybe for a hydraulic thumb or uh, some people do put a hammer but the hammer I think is a little too uh, uh, this machine is a little underpowered okay and it's very simple uh, this machine is very simple basically we have a key switch and we have a uh, throttle and that's it this particular one is XN12 it comes with a diesel motor diesel Kubota motor and that's the same Kubota motor that they use for their uh, mini excavator uh, you know, Kubota brand mini expert. So it's basically the same class, same power. Uh, of course, it's you know Kubota is right, Kubota, right? So they have a lot more to offer. But if you are just finding, looking for a machine uh, that can do the digging, that can help you uh, grade, and this will be a, a perfect choice because um, for budget consideration, it's almost half or, or a third off. A third, uh, a third less than the uh, Kubota machine. Okay, so I'm gonna just start this machine, and so for you guys to hear it, and if later if I have time, I'll um, uh, show you the uh, engine um, compartment under the seat. Okay, so there's a battery shut off right here. Turn on, and you can just turn on the key ignition.
I'm going to show you the uh, under the seat, and that's the engine compartment. Okay, come let's take, take a look. So in general, a machine from China is very simple, and of course, it consists of motor. Uh, in this case, it's the uh, uh, diesel engine, so it has a motor, a water cool uh, cooling system, and that's it. Yeah, so so it's very simple to uh, troubleshoot. There's literally no electronics. Uh, the only electronics are um, is the light. Okay, so this light, there's a light uh, on the uh, um, digging broom, and that that it opens, uh, it operates. So, and you can see in this uh, machine, it's equipped with the Kubota engine, right here, and that's the Kubota Made in Japan uh, ID number, and it has a uh, radiator reservoir, radiator and that's it okay and also you, you will notice all these machines the size doesn't uh, open it's usually uh, it, it's usually just fixed by a few bolts okay so take out these rubber boots and then there are bolts you can take the uh, side panels so if you want to do more service to the to the uh, to the machine you take out the side panels one two and the back in this case the side the back panel is a little harder to take because it's uh, mounted with the uh, bolts of the uh, the uh, uh, rover protection uh, cage okay so uh, the battery is located on this side and also the fuel is on this side um, when you when you do your um, when you do your diesel okay so that's pretty much it for this and let's look at the uh, control uh, console here so the control console is also very simple under the cover there are just a, a bank of hydraulic valves and it has basically a two function, uh, just a, a single function, open and close, okay? And then, when you turn on the key, it shows the gauge, it has an hour meter, water temperature, and the some of the basic warning lights. And these are, as far as the electronic connection goes, that's it, okay? So, um, so that, that's, that's pretty much uh, for this machine. In this machine, I also noticed that it has a foot pedal on the right side, but it's but it's this uh, but it's uh, tied up. So this one has no function, and I much rather the manufacturer can put a function to the foot pedal right here. But um, that that's what they they offer, and that's what what we have right here. Okay. Um, and also you see the uh, the the excavator in the front. There is a valve, hydraulic valve, and this valve controls your auger. Um, so you can turn on and off and i think there are people making hydraulic thumb that can be put onto this so instead of a, a fixed rod you have a hydraulic thumb uh, so this is a fixed um, claw and it allows you to grab like logs and stuff um, but i would much rather have a hydraulic uh, which we will find in other models okay. so in the front here there's the xn12 and xn is the uh, Abbreviation for Rhino, Rhinoceros, and 12 usually states for the weight. So it's 12, uh, 1200 uh, kilograms. So it's basically uh, 20, 25, 26, 000, uh, 100 pounds. Okay. And we, uh, earlier I mentioned there is an XN18, and that is the one that directly imported uh, and sold through uh, Northern Tools, and it's from the same company. Okay. And that one, if you look at the picture of their catalog, they have a fixed uh, broom. So to, to me, as a landscaper going to very tight corners, the fixed broom model doesn't work. Because we need fixed broom, uh, we need a, a flexible broom, so we can, when we dig, we can adjust the angles and uh, accordingly, okay? And there's an ID tag, and this ID tag shows where this machine is made um, and when it's made. So that's pretty much it. Um, so that's pretty much it about this. Oh, one more. So one more thing to talk about is the uh, track. So all these tracks eventually need adjustment, and the adjustment is very simple. And again, uh, so simple is just a big screw with nuts on it. So you loosen the nut, you tighten up the screw to stretch the belt, to stretch the track. And once the track is stretched to the tension you want, uh, tighten up the bolt and that's it that's called that um, just make sure all these are um, you know grease points um, make sure you grease them 
okay. So that's about it for this little machine. And in general, I think for the price uh, of importing it here, um, picking it up, and I think it's well worth its value. Uh, just because it's a cooled out engine, uh, it lasts forever. And it's a nice little machine. Um, and it does, gets the work done. But one thing I do want to mention, all, in general, uh, machines from China uh, have a little safety concern. So if you do intend to import these and sell, you have to watch out because it's not, I don't think it's safe, okay? So uh, let me just show you real quick. So one of the common safety issue is that um, a lot of almost all the Chinese um, machinery because they, they 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 want to save on cost right so a lot of them um, whatever they can do without they do without so safety is really just labels okay danger and that's their safety okay um, so like in the US you would expect a machine is stopped like this this Hydraulic ram is locked, it will not drop, but not so. Okay, so imagine if someone's there and the kid ran up there and don't know uh, and accidentally touched the uh, broom and you could, you know, get hurt pretty bad. Okay, same thing. So basically, these are simple valves and it opens and closes and mechanical valves. So even when the engine is stopped, you can still release the pressure and this is what we are seeing. Okay, so when, if you do get these, um, I, would, I would recommend not to sell them unless you get these uh, safety issues. They, these are minimum safety issues to get it fixed. Um, if you do, it, do get it for personal use, you just have to be aware and, and know that uh, because there's not so much liability involved. Okay, so uh, same thing. The tracks, same thing. If you, play, if you part on a sloped area, um, it may roll. Okay, so you just have to position your tractor accordingly so that it doesn't roll or put a block or something. Okay, and in the future, what I would do is uh, I will show you another another brand that has these things fixed, and um, um, that is also another option uh, for purchase to use. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's it about the uh, Rhino uh, excavator XM12 and. If you want to know more about how to get one, uh, you can contact me and I will, in the YouTube, I will show you also. I will show you, give you the information and, and in a little bit, I will show you how much this one costs from the manufacturer and how much it costs to import and, um, and show you the procedure if you do want to import one for yourself. Okay? That's it. Thank you for watching.